there, sir. Mr. Obi, why took you so long to open the gate? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I was in the middle of prayer when I heard your hand. I want you to take that as an excuse. I'm sorry, sir. It won't repeat again. I have warned you several times to choose between this job and these your prayers. I'm sorry, sir. Give me the house keys. Shall we? Place. Apart from this, yes, you love it. Yes. Yeah, I think it's better than others we've seen. What do you think? Good. And the neighborhood looks decent. I think so too. But um, is it not too big? Um, I mean, it's a six bedroom. No, we need the space. I love space, especially when the kids start coming in. Um, Mr. Charles. Yeah. You know this house is cute. I must confess, but we don't like this. Oh, there's no problem at all. We'll change it. All right, it's a deal then. Thank you. Thank you very much. Of Agulu. Grace. Great women of Agulu. Grace. Great women of Agulu. Grace. The matter we have at hand now is a very urgent one. Please, I want us to be very careful the way we tackle it. Okay? Nechibuza, I was sitting down here before you came now. I only went to ease myself. 
Please, could you excuse me? Hey, hey. You were sitting here before. Yes. You came back, and I am here now. Yes. Hey, there are some other vacant seats now. Go and look for one and sit down. Hey. Must it be this one? Hey, 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 hey. Not one more word from you. This section, as you're seeing it, is for women with children and grandchildren. Hey, meaning, meaning that you have to go to somewhere else and sit. Tell her. Eh? This meeting, of course, is for the real Omada of Agul. Bam! Do you understand that? Yes. Eh? Please, you people shouldn't say such a thing to her. It's only God that gives children. No, no, yeah. eh? Is it at all? Please. Ah. It's for the really women. Ah. It's okay. It's okay. Hmm. There is no need dragging the, the seat with you. So where are they? Ah, this thing is mm. unfair. Go to the bank. Mm. It's unfair. Ah, thank God. Your mother don't know it's unfair. It's unfair. It's unfair. Get away. Hi, is this how I am going to live the rest of my days? Is this? Is this how I have become the joke of Omada? Chai, what evil have I committed to deserve all this? I cannot even sit in the midst of my age mates, all because of my son. Chai, no. I cannot continue like this. I cannot. Bernard will have to choose between me and that man he calls a wife. Ngozi! 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 You can't You can't Uh, uh, get it down, please. Yes, yes, you can bring some inside. Huh? Place them first. Yes.
landlord issue <laughs> and rent issue, they are now in the past. Well, all thanks to you. Baby, I am very proud of you. I feel very fortunate. Having you as a wife is the most fortunate thing that can ever happen to me. Oh. I can't ask for more. Yes, coming. Uh, good day, sir. Thank you. Okay. Good day. How are you? Fine. Um, I must say that I am impressed. You know, with the way you join others in arranging this place. <laughs> yes, sir. I called Mr. Charles and told him of my intention to retain you here. Thank you, sir. <laughs> it's okay. And, um, and um, we've decided to increase your salary by 40%. Eh? Yes. Hey! <laughs> Thank you, sir. No, no, no. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Yeah, I will get all the peppers ready before you come. Mm, like, how much in dollars are we looking at? Ten million dollars. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Uh, there's no problem about that. We can handle it. Yes, sir. It's not too much for us. You know, it's because of clients like you that we are still in business. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. I'll be expecting you. Thank you, sir. The big donor. Donald the donor. <laughs> donor the donor. So, when are we popping the champagne? No, no. Don't give me that surprise look. Big bros, the house. When are we popping the champagne? To celebrate the new house. <laughs> How did you know? Oh, you are asking everybody. Oh, let's say a lot of us know that you just bought a big house. <laughs> but man, don't tell me so much because I know it's not. Hmm? And then stop this shakara and tell me. So when are we popping the champagne to celebrate it? No, no, no. This is just a little investment I had to do. A fantastic one too, big boss. I envy you. But you know, we work in the bank where we have opportunity to take loans. So I just took a soft loan to finance the buying of the house. That's all. You mean you bought that house with loans? Oh, yes. Sure. And I now have to keep up with the repayment schedule. <laughs> that doesn't matter. The most important thing is getting your own house. Anyway, we'll oh. still pop the chapel oh. though. Oh, <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> now you're talking. So, uh, what's up? Uh, um, the tax returns you wanted. Okay. The head office has not given me a moment of rest because of these documents. At least they will cut down when they see the documents. Yes, so, yes, so. Okay, uh, let me take time and go through them, right? Eh? And get back to you. Okay. Uh, so. uh, let me get back to my office. Oh, yeah. Later, we are going to pop the champagne. Oh, the rest are sure. <laughs> <laughs> the big bear. The rest are sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So, what is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We haven't done anything yet. Mm. This is lovely. Sit down, let me get you something to drink. Sit down. Do you like this one? Thank you. 
Pressure from his family and friends concerning my childlessness. He still treats me like the first time we met. Look, Mimi, children come from God. And we invite her, we give you kids. Mimi, you can't do this. Mimi, as easy as ever. Yeah, that's what you get for being the branch manager of the most capitalized bank in this country. <laughs> work. But you know, all work and no play. Don't forget. I do catch some fun, Sophia. You? <laughs> catch some fun. You just have to tell that to people that don't know you. Ben, you're so uptight. Like, everything about you is just work, work, and work. That's not true. So true. Then you just have to try to catch some fun. Like, I, seriously. I do. <laughs> Too. Ben, I want you. Am I not pretty enough? Ben, what do you want me to do? Just say anything. Give up. I can't. Can't you see? It cannot work between us. Can't you see that? It worked until you broke us up. That was a mistake. I'm not asking to be to the city to see my son Bernard. City. Mm. Auntie, I, I hope everything is okay. That is why I want to go to the city. But Auntie, I don't understand. See, is everything okay with Brother Ben? Hey, because you ask too many questions. Eh? Man, it's because I'm surprised now. I mean, all of a sudden you're going to the city. You didn't even tell me. Auntie, it's unlike you. Mwah, I want to mention it now. I am going to the city to see my son, Bernard. Have I mentioned it? Yeah. Have you heard it? Uh, uh, well, Auntie, when are you coming back? I don't know. In a couple of days. Mwah, mwah. Go and bring my traveling bag. Okay. Uh, bring it outside first. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Take me to where I can rest my back. You know, the journey from the village is not an easy one. Let me show you to your room. Uh
You know my mother. I thought by now her attitude towards you would have changed. Stop crying. But what haven't I done to make her like me? At least try to like me. She will. Just give her some time. No, Ben. What she wants is a child, and I cannot give you one. And as every day goes by, she hates me more. Don't talk like that. Ben. It's true, and you know it. Children come from God. We are fine. So let's believe in God's time. Well, I hope your mother believes that too. She will. The time she will. Come on. I missed you all day. Come me with those lovely smiles. <laughs> I've served your food. Come and eat. I'm not hungry. Thank you. If you don't like it, I can make something else for you. Here! I said I am not hungry. I'm waiting for my son. Here. Talk to you. It's very important. Mama, can it wait? Later, I'm late. Huh? Okay, I will wait. But the very important is my uncle. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who is that? Mama, is your daughter? Eh? Whose daughter? My friend, who are you? Mama, it's Mimi. What do you want? Mama, I'm sorry to disturb you, but uh, I need to talk to you. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Mama, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to start. Uh, then leave my room. Mama, Mama, I'm sorry. If I've offended you, if I've done anything wrong, please forgive me. Pico. Yami Rabel. Ma. Stop deceiving yourself. I know who you truly are. The best thing for you to do is to leave my son. Now I can worry. He is my only son. As a matter of fact, my only child. So like the mother hen, I am going to protect him with everything. Mama, you don't have to talk like this. We've been to specialists, we've been to medical doctors, and there is nothing wrong with us medically. We, in God's time, we'll have children. We believe so. I believe so. Ben! Ben believes so. Whoa. This is one thing I hate to hear. 
So all of us have to fold our arms and wait for you till eternity, okay? Dear Mirabel, you met me resting. I want to go back to my rest. Pico, get out. Mama, I, I was trying to. So you're not listening to me. Mama, I am. Now tell me, do you think it is normal for her not to have even one miscarriage all these years? Hmm? Mama, you already know my stand on this issue. Eh, that is why you must listen to me. Nanya can why? No matter how grown you think you are, no matter how rich you are, you are still a child my child so you have to listen there are so many strange things that you need to know about um, thank you very much you know this our bank job is very hectic so i heard you let me go and sleep that was Stop behaving like a sports child and sit down and listen to me. Okay. Oh, Guinea. Is it that bad? Has she so blinded you that you don't even want to listen to your mother? I don't care what you think, oh. If you go that girl, she must leave this house. Why? Because she can never have children. Are you God? Are you God? Chibuzo, I know that I'm not God. Good. But I am not blind. That girl is an Obanje. Yes. Um, adoption is good, but it's not what I'm thinking. Look, Ben, you have lots of girls, I mean, following you around. Why can't you pick one to give you a child, your own biological child? You know, this is a funny world, and no one knows tomorrow. Still awake. I want to talk to you. Why are you not sleeping? I want to talk to you about something. Okay. Yes, you. What's bothering you? Darling. What I've been going through lately is killing me inside. I know you don't believe me, but trust me, this is not hallucination. I've never lied to you before. Never. If I see strange things, I see
You know, I was actually thinking about uh, booking an appointment with the doctor. You know, just for a general checkup. You may just be stressed that you're going through. Okay. If that will help, why not? Why not? All right. I'll do that on my way to the office and get back to you. Thank you, love. <laughs> Getting later. Bernard! No. Mama, good morning, ma. Mm, good ma morning. I thought you were still sleeping. Sleeping, what? Good morning, ma. I want to go back home today. Mama, but you didn't tell me this yesterday. Hey. So it is a crime for me to decide when to go back home, okay? Well, I'm already late to office. Then um, drop me at the park. That is, if it will not be too much to ask you people. Damn! I didn't hear you coming. You seemed quite preoccupied with your thoughts when I walked in. You want to share? You know the saying, a problem shared is a problem solved. Talk to me. Nothing. What is it? Nothing actually. Nothing. Are you sure? He seemed quite worried to me when I walked in. I'm good, Sophia. I'm good. And um, what brings you to my office? Oh, I wanted to go for lunch, so I decided to invite you. Don't say no, please. If for nothing else, you need the fresh air to clear your head. Okay? Please? You know, I would have loved to, but as you can see... Busy. Ben, come on. You're the head of this branch. You're the boss. I mean, 30 minutes of eating, it won't triple your work and it won't kill you. Okay. Please. Please. Okay. All right, let's go. Okay, thank you.
brother Ben are saying about it. I mean, about her. What did he say? <laughs> what can he say? When the woman has planted him with her banjo, no woman can turn my son into a doll baby. Not when I'm still alive. Ah. Uh -uh. Hey. But auntie, let me ask. Don't you think that brother will not be happy with this your intended actions? Hmm. If he likes, let him be happy. If he likes, let him be angry. That is his business. As long as that woman leaves the house, if she doesn't want to live peacefully, then I will have to push her out myself. Auntie, maybe you should tell brother first, though. I mean, so that he will not start. Mm, 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 mm. I did not seek your opinion in this matter at all. We are talking about my son. When you go to your father's house or when you have your children, you can do that. Auntie, no. Auntie, I didn't mean to upset you. Okay, I'm sorry. Ngozi, sorry for yourself. Stop asking me questions like you're a police officer or get there. Ah, problem. Good morning. Good morning, dear. Hope you slept well. Yeah, yeah I did. Mm. I hope I didn't make a fool of myself. No, no. <laughs> Nothing I couldn't handle. Believe me. Don't worry. You know you're always welcome to stay in my house. Anytime.
Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I am. I'm okay. He don't seem fine to me. You were calling your wife's name all through the night. I did? Yeah, you did. Hmm. Ben, listen to me. I just want you to know this. No matter what you're going through, once you have the right people around you, everything, everything will be fine. Everything will be fine, believe me. Okay? Okay, just rest. Take a rest now. Let me make you breakfast. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Imagine how you feel. Seriously, I do. But not to worry. I've spoken to my own father about you, and he has promised to help. But you have to know that God is the only solution. And all you need right now is faith. My dear, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your concern. It's okay, there's no problem. I'm here.
I want to assure you that God has taken care of all your problems. He's able. Please, I want you to go on your knees. Let's pray. In the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Forgive us our trespasses, and forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. 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 I mean, how can you believe such fairy tale from your wife, Diola? Look, the problem here is neither ghost nor demon. The problem is simple. My wife has refused to accept the fact that she has a psychological problem. And the earlier she does that, the better for her. She's my wife. And I feel for her. I want her to be okay. I've been sure that there was a level of conviction in your last story. But if you think otherwise, hey, what more can I say? Well, my mother, you know, since I am idle now, not doing anything, you know, what about joining you in your beauty business? You know, nothing else to do. If you want to join me, you are welcome on board. <laughs> and with me, you don't have a problem. No, oh, Max, I can always count on you. That means Max, my boss now. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that again and again. <laughs> oh, my. Sorry about that. I just put on my phone. On the road? Yeah. Where are you? Okay. Yes, please just wait for me there. I will stop by for you. Okay. Thank you. So, what next? I don't know. I don't know. If I tell you I do, I'm lying. I can't even think anymore. I just lost my job in mysterious circumstances. How do I handle a possessed wife? I'm not a psychiatrist, neither am I a pastor. I've had enough of Mirabel. Are you saying that you are going to throw her out of your house? I don't know. But I don't want to have anything to do with her again. This marriage won't work. This lady is pure bad luck to me. But you are not going to kick her out of your house just like that. Why? Why can't I kick her out of my house? Is she buy my house for me or what? This is not about the house. In issues like this, you are supposed to be wise. Mirabel is a good girl. And both of you have shared great things together. So why would you kick her out of your house because of mere speculation? You want her to kill me before you know that my life is in danger. Didn't I tell you about what she did with a knife the other night? I know. Is that mere speculation? Ben, Ben, listen to me. Mirabel has no father. She has no mother. She has built her world around you. And if you kick her out of your house, she has nowhere to go.
Madam. Turned into a ghost. Something more scary than that. I think she turned into a monster. With what I saw tonight, I don't think I want to ever go back to that house again. This is serious. Sweetie, you have to be very careful. You have to be very, very careful before she kills you. I think it's time to throw her out of my house. No, 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 but before she kills me. No, 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 I have to act. I just have to act. Wow. Oh, <laughs> 
What is happening? Oh, no, 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 Shut up! 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 Shut up!
everybody is running away from her and you're running to her. Mkwa. Mirabel, you think you can blind me again with your spell? Now I know you're a witch. Mama, I should have listened to you. You've caused enough pains already. Sacrificed your womb just to get witchcraft powers. That's your business. Because Sophie here is carrying my baby in her womb. Try. Oh, my baby. Mama, no need wasting time. I just want to proudly present to you my wife to be. Ty. Complete woman. Complete woman. No. Thank you, Mama. Ty, welcome. Oh, my sister. Okay. Get up here. If you're a complete woman, you went and sold your own to the devil. What do you see? Don't mama me. Oh, one day. I'm so dead. Oh, 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 oh. Give me a chance. Huh? If you go complete woman. Exactly what you're going through. I also know that you're innocent of all these accusations. But you need to be strong. And God will see you through. I wish there was something I could do. I, I, I appreciate your concern. I really do. But I'll be fine. Okay. But, Auntie, I mean, it's getting dark. Don't you want to come inside? I'm going to go and come after you. Okay. Uh, please do. I will. Thank you. Nana Jolly, <laughs> my beautiful daughter-in-law. How is my grandchild doing? Fine, well, huh? Uh -oh. Try. <laughs> Let us go to the kitchen and prepare something your husband loves so much. Oh? Okay, Mama. Oh. Mm -hmm. My love, I made something for you to eat. Get out. Mm. <laughs> You heard him. My son said you should get out. So get out. Nobody is interested in your poison. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Sus 
What is it? I'll be using this car from now on. Mm -hmm. And so? And so? You should hand over the keys to me. Sophie. Yes. As you can see, I'm about to drive out. <laughs> now you listen to me. However you want to go to wherever it is you're going to, it's your business, okay? All I ask is that you give me that key. Give the keys to me! Stupid. Look this house now! Hey, what is 
Come over you. No, it's you and your silly body that something evil has come over. Because I'm still talking to you. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Pathetic that you pass through all this in your matrimonial home. You must learn that life is often unfair. It's 
especially when we are hurt by our loved ones. Never mind, my dear. You have a home here. Okay? You are the only child of my late sister. It's unfortunate I've been away from you for some time. My family and I have been in the north. But now that I'm back, I vow to take care of you, to be there for you, to love you and to protect you. Okay? I'll fight for you. Auntie, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I don't, I don't know what I would have done without you. But just like your mother, you remind me everything about your mother. But it's okay. It's okay. If he truly loves you, he will come looking for you here. Okay? Don't worry. It's okay. Let me go and get you food. See your life. Have you seen your life? You wanted to destroy my son, but the God I serve has exposed you. Go and chop my son's money. Go and eat his money. I'm in the market. Who is your mother? Who is your mother? Woo! Where's your mother? Look at her. I'm so dead. I'm so Wallahi, Mirabel, I am disappointed. Why didn't you give it back to her right there and then? Hmm? After what she put you through, after the commission she put you through in the city, she still has the guts to come back to this village to humiliate you. How very she? Hmm? How about you? It's okay. It's okay. Mama, it's not. I wish I was the one. Now, Renze, I swear, I wish I was the one. She shouldn't dare. Sometimes silence is the best answer for a coward. You are right, my daughter. Silence, my friend. Mama, you've not heard. She came back to this village and she's been telling everyone on this village that Mirabel is a witch. Uh -huh. Eh? Eh? Did you say mm hmm? It's okay. Ah! Eh? It's okay. Inshallah, my God will fight for her. Ah. My God will fight for her. Mama, I wish I was the one. Narency, I swear, she wouldn't dare me. She wouldn't, Mama. Nana! 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 Ogini! Ugeza Ogini! Why are you shouting like a mad woman? Ogini! Did your witch niece send you to come and bewitch me? Eh? Nana! I have come to tell you that you're wicked. You are very, very wicked, Nena. How could you have disgraced Mirabel in the market? Uh. Eh? Oh, you thought she's lonely and helpless. But let me warn you. If you try that again, 
Nana will have me to contend with. Chai. Evil woman. Evil. Did we tell you or your son to come and marry her in the first place? I'm also. Ugeze, you are just ranting. You are nothing but a generation of witches. I'm so Debe. Get out. I will leave. I will leave. Baby, won't. If you're not right, be warned. I don't want. Hey! If you come back here to shout again, here for him, Meme. Here for him, Meme. Stupid woman. I'm so dead. Come and shout again, Kifu. Or May Nanya. What will I do? I can't control it. This is looking so quiet. <laughs> You're looking for trouble now. You're looking for someone to say up. Abby, I'm telling you. No, I'm tired. I'm not crazy. I'll just need to stand on the second. One, two. Children, pizza. Who are you calling witch? All these village champions. Are you alright? Eh? What is wrong with you girls? Why would you mind your own business? Don't try me, Oluchi. Oh, Don't dare me. Eh? You the city witch. Me? Yes. Two of you. City witch. Come on, fight. 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 Come on
they are all bunch of fools. They will just use women as if they are pieces of rag. Shut up! Hello, Max. Sorry, I was going to call you. Good afternoon. What am I hearing about Ben? Max, and you didn't call to tell me. Which, which hospital is that, please? Thank you. Thank you, I'll be there now. On my way. Let him die in that hospital. He's a fool! going to that hospital to go and see that man who denied you of your happiness hmm? a man who threw you out of his house what kind of a man is he he's still my husband and i love him tell me all that love my foot it's okay would you i think i know where you're coming from but i wanted to know that the issue of marriage is very delicate eh? mimi you want to go yes okay i'm with you just take care of yourself and be careful. It's okay, come here. You're letting her go. She's that man. Finish what you started. Say about what? Mama, say about what? Mama, please. Get out. This is not the right place please. for this. Please. I know you're not happy with me coming here, but Ben is my husband. You know I love you. I cannot hang you. You love only my son. Eko is. What can we say about what? Mama, get, Mama, get out. please. This is excuse not the right me, place for this. Excuse me. What, what is happening here? Eh, uh -huh, doctor. This witch just came in. Oh, madam, please calm down. Okay, calm down. This is a hospital. Okay. He needs rest. Everybody should leave. He is my son. Um, like I said earlier. There is nothing wrong with him medically. So I suggest you take him home. Okay? Just take him home for now. How do you mean? He just told me he was discharged from the hospital. Yes, he was. And we all thought he was getting better. But I'm afraid that is not the case. Then what is the case? Nobody knows what is going on anymore. Doctors say that uh, he's medically okay. But the man is like a vegetable stuck in one place. Withering away every day, he barely talks. He, he has no energy to move around. And he recognizes nothing. I mean, it's a... Uh, Why don't you take him to another hospital? Why? Six hospitals, six good hospitals in this town, they all say the same thing. Then why don't you just fly him abroad? That's the only option. You don't get it. How could you fly him abroad when he's medically okay? How could you teach somebody that is, I mean, that is not sick? Jesus. This is spiritual. Ben's wife has a hand in this. Yes. Ben told me that she's after his life. Ben told you that? He told me. Ben said that to of you? Of course. We're going to get married. Didn't you know that? I, I, um, I mean, 
All I know is that Mirabel, she's as worried as anybody else, uh, hoping that uh, Ben will get back to his feet again. Just come off it. She's pretending. <gasps> Sophia, this is not the right time to accuse anybody. This is the time for us to come together and stand strongly beside Ben, praying and hoping that he gets well soon. See, I'm concerned as well, okay? But there is absolutely nothing I can do. Because I'm not legally married to Ben, so I can go there. You guys just have to find something to do about it, because I, I don't know. I. I... <laughs> What kind of life is this? God, what did I do to deserve this? My son is dying. Patty, please don't talk like that. He will be fine. Ah, is this life? Is this life? He cannot eat. He cannot stand. He cannot do anything on his own. Yet the doctor said nothing is wrong with him. God will heal him. I know that for sure that God will heal him. I think I have to take him back to the village. At the village? Mm -hmm. Why? Does this look ordinary to you? Are you not seeing the hand of that evil woman in all this? I'm taking him back. I want him to see a Dibia. At the Dibia? Mm -hmm. Do you think that's the right thing to do? Ah, my dear. That is the only thing that will save his life now. No. 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 I could. I could please. Don't let my son die. Please, God. I've seen you several times in this place, crying, praying, like someone with a heavy body in her heart. What's the problem? I don't know what is wrong with him anymore. I'll come back, it's okay. You'll be alright. So, tell me, what's wrong with him? We don't know. Even the doctors don't know. They said he's, they said he's fine, but he's not. But he cannot eat. He can't move. Let's have him pray. I've been praying for God, he's not doing my prayers. It's okay, it's okay. I'm, I'm tired. tired. It's okay, it's okay. Don't be troubled. I'm frustrated. Okay, calm down. God has prayers. Okay? <laughs> this time might not be our time. But it does surely enter prayers. Eh? Calm down. Okay? Come with me. Come with me. I want you to come and pray for him. It's okay, I will. I will. Okay, calm down. Please. 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 Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mighty Father, look with pity and favor upon your son. Grant it. Sweet banana here. Bye, banana. Bye, banana. Bye, banana. Your sweet banana here. Bye, banana. Bye, banana. Father, your sweet banana here. Is anything the matter? Father, why did you stop praying for my son now? I thought that was why you came. Yes, Mama. 
But there's something strange about this house. Ekwem, Father, Nekuya. She is the strange thing. She has bewitched my son and she must leave this house. Mama, this is mm. beyond bewitching. Eh? This is beyond bewitching. But this is no time to treat accusations. If there's anything evil about your daughter-in-law, I should be the one to tell you that. Okay? We must fight for something than to live for nothing. We should be concerned about your son's illness. Okay, no matter the obstacle, God Almighty will take us to the pinnacle. Amen. Is he going to be fine? Oh, sure, he will be fine, definitely. I'll pray for him. Don't you worry, he'll be all right. Um, but father, what are you saying about the house? Whilst I was praying, the Spirit of the Lord revealed to me that there is something evil about this house. But father, does it have anything to do with my, my husband's health? Well, I cannot precisely say if it has anything directly or indirectly to do with the state. But I would advise a strong deliverance to expel the evil in this house. Okay. Well, um, I'll take my leave now. Father. Thank you, Father. You're welcome, madam. Thank you. Bye, Father. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Father. So, you didn't tell Father all these things? Much well. Nobody believes me. How am I supposed to tell him I see dead bodies and ghosts and spirits? He won't, I'm not sure it's the cause of all this. Don't start again. Let yourself solve nothing. But Brenda, I am tired. I am drained emotionally, physically, mentally. Okay. It's okay. Okay? So what did you, what did very father say? Well, he begged my mother-in-law for me to come back to the house. And um, he said he needed more time to pray. So get some revelations and things. Brenda, my husband is dying. Ben is lying in bed helplessly. I need help. I need solution. I'm not tired. I'm tired. I don't know what to do. Everything is gonna be okay, okay? I need I need I need solution. something I have kept to myself for many years that because of how nice you and your husband are to me and my sympathy towards your present situation I decided I have to come and let you know this many years ago when I was employed by Mr. Charles de Ketika as the security man there was a family that moved in. One Mr. Okoro. It's a very nice family. Just the man, his wife, and the two children. They actually like the place. But uh, not up to six months. I was surprised one morning when I woke up to see a van and the family packing out. I tried to find out why. No, they didn't, they didn't say anything. But I sensed that something was wrong. Mr. Charles 
even waited to hear from the man. At least to come and collect uh, the balance of three years' rent they paid. But the man never showed up. After some years, another family moved in. A very good couple. The wife was pregnant. Within a month, the woman started screaming, shouting, complaining of seeing ghosts, spirits. <laughs> and started behaving abnormally, you know, like running mad. When the matter became worse, the man and his people came and carried her away. Madam, if you ask me, I think there's something evil about this house. Charles, what do you mean by that? What I'm saying is that it's not as bad as you're making it sound. It's not as bad. Do you know what I have been through the past weeks? Do you know what my husband is going through? He is lying half dead. And you tell me it's not that bad. Mirabel, please take it easy. Whatever you're passing through has nothing to do with that house, madam. How can you say that? You even admitted that the former occupants went through the same ordeal. Mr. Okora and then the one whose wife went mad. And you tell me there's nothing wrong with that house. I see things in that house. Look, Mr. Charles, we do need an answer here. We do need an answer to save life. Please, tell us the truth. What else do you want me to say? I don't care what you have to say. I want my husband to be okay for me. Mirabel. You tell me the truth. If anything happens to my husband, anything, I will hunt you down. You have to tell me what you know right now to help us unravel the truth. What do you want to know? You know about the former occupants of that house. What else do you want to know? Look, Mr. Charles, what about the former owner of the house? Let me see. Maybe we can talk to him. Maybe he could give us some vital information. How do you mean? Was that his name? Yes. He owned that property and so many other properties scattered across the length and breadth of this country. We are part of the executors of his vast estate and my company has been managing his property long before he died. So he said, I'm going to have this man. Did he live in that house we're living in now? Yes. So why did he move out? Why, why did he sell the house? Um, his family had to look into Scotland. He didn't sell the house. His family did after he died. I'm sorry. That's the best I can do for you. 
This is dead end. I don't think that man told us the truth. What made you say something like that? I don't know. I just have a feeling that there's more to what you should have said. Yeah, Belle. We should be more clear solving this solution. You know, with the students that we've had in our lives, people that live there and are going to be in our lives and what happened to them. We don't know what the lives will be in their spirit. You know what? We don't have to go to the right way. My house, my door is open. You guys can stay with us. I think that would be a very good idea. Thank you, Father. Was that the Reverend Father? Yes. He said he'd come over to the house. Oh, thank goodness. Then we have to leave everything in the hands of God. Amen. 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 The last time I was here, the presence of evil in this house was like a stench in the air. And it still is. Therefore, we are going to do a thorough cleansing of this house. Romans 8, verse 35 says, Which will separate us from the love of Christ. Is it nakedness? Is it distress? Peril, sword? Tribulations, persecutions, or sword? Goes out to fair the seven and says, Yet in all this, we are conquerors through him that loved us. Send down the fire. We ready, O Lord. Oh, send down the fire. We say, Amen. Oh, send down the fire. We ready, O Lord.
that why you sent for me. I'm sorry. I've already said all that I know. A man is dead. <coughs> well, uh, Mr. Charles, I quite appreciate you coming. Um, as we all know, this young man's husband, Mr. Bennett, is lying critical here. This is a very critical situation that calls for urgent attention. And his dying soul must be saved. You have just disclosed to us that the landlord is dead. Can you take us to any of his relatives? As you do that, the good Lord and serve your life. We shall replace you. I lied. You lied? You know the heart is still alive. I lied that he's dead for the interest of my business and the long-standing relationship between the man and I. has crumbled. You don't understand how terrible things have gone. 
You don't. It is difficult for me to feel because there is no money. Is it my mother who needs a huge amount to get treated? Or my house rent that has expired and the landlord is threatening fire and brimstone? There is no one to run to for help. Everyone has abandoned. I have contemplated suicide. No reason is enough for a man to take his own life. I really feel for you. I want to help you at least for all the things you've done for me in the past. Like they say, it is better to give a man a man to fish than to give him a fish. Urumba, I want to give you a net to fish well. At least to shame your enemies. But everything depends on you. How do you mean? I want to introduce you into the world of riches and power. Only if you have it. I'm ready to do any and everything to get my hands back to money again. You don't understand. I'm ready. Anything. Just anything. Now you're talking. Riches and powers. This is the corridor of powers, the wall of fame, and this is the door of wealth, great wealth. And our great God, Obolu, is ready to give you all that you desire, even more. But you have a little to offer in return. You will get a virgin girl. Not more than 20 years old, you'll be given a land where you build your own house. You will bury the dead virgin's body in that land. But before then, you must cut off our private pass and bring it here for your purification. From now on, make sure you do all that I command. Great riches and words will fall on your path. Congratulations. Rejoice. Rejoice. I say rejoice. Um, I do not understand you. What do you mean by that you are not interested? You heard me. I am not interested. Period. Well, you have no choice. Obolo has spoken. And if you do not do what he asked to do, you will die. I don't get this. I mean, how did you get me into all this in the first place? Gabe, how can I shed blood for money? I mean, think about it. It's, 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 it's not possible. I can't do it. I can't. I can't. Listen, Urumba. You asked for it. You must pay a price to get what you want. Well, there is nothing you can do about it. Once you are in, it is final. Finally, become a man. Like they say, money is good. <laughs> I love money, man. <laughs> See, I must confess, 
initially, it was difficult for me to accept. <laughs> but have you been able to get the sacrificial lamb? Not yet. But I'll soon get it. Money is good, bro. Just see banana here. Bye, banana. Bye, banana. Sweet banana here. Bye, banana. Banana. Good afternoon, sir. You have good bananas? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, come, come. No one should open this wardrobe or ever come close to it. <gasps> what are you doing here? Did I not warn you not to open this wardrobe? I wanted to... I, 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 Shut I, up, you idiot! <laughs> now listen. If you ever tell anyone what you saw here tonight, it's then you would realize what a devil you have as a father. Now get out. Get out! He can go. Come back. You can... The tongue has led many people to their early grave. Be warned. Now get out. Get out! Hey, son. Where are you going to? I'm just putting finishing touches to the party I'm having in your honor for your return from the NYSC camp. 
person not already in it. Let me ask you that I'm leaving you for good. I cannot continue staying under the same roof with a man who has sold his conscience to the devil. A man who sheds blood. A courtist. No, he cannot be my father. Shut up, son. I am and will always be your father. Dad, not until you changed from good to evil. Not until I lost my dear mother and sister mysteriously. Not until I realized that you are an occultic man. Son. What is it that you have asked that I have not done for you? Have I denied you anything? Dad, you've given me all. But you cannot assume peace of mind. Living with a man like you is not safe. Living with a man like you means selling my soul to the devil. I serve the living God. I serve the God of conscience. I cannot sell my soul to the devil. I will not be able to do anything for me, Dad. Son, you are the only one I have. After I lost your mother and sister. Please, son, don't do this to me. Don't allow me to suffer this agony. Please. Dad, that, that is the point. My mother and sister are already dead in strange and mysterious circumstances. Who knows who's going to be the next? Maybe me. You've chosen your part. That is mine. I wish you were a good father. I wish you were a good fairy father. Goodbye, <laughs> Son, don't go. He came back. He came back. Come back. He came. I lost my wife and daughter to that restless spirit. Whom do I blame but myself for shedding an innocent blood? Now, I am about losing my only surviving son, God. What have I got myself into? What have I not done to resolve this problem of no result?
Father. Okay, it's all right. Um, I think we'll have to inform the police now. stand before you in praise. Father, we ask that your will be done with this family today. Amen. Father, we come in absolute submission to that will and power. The power in the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. As I raise my hand up, Almighty Creator, I claim authority from heaven as one of your ordained priests of God here. Sorry to give you to me. That's not to do it. Come down. Let us make this sound in this family. Every nook and cranny of this place. Father God, as you cleanse from heaven before you go, as you from the first blood of Jesus Christ, every nook and cranny of this compound, every nook and cranny of this compound, the body of the one of us here. name. Amen. 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 The spirit is no longer here. He's gone out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, 
I can see your spirit. I can feel your anguish, your sorrows and tears. And that the power of the Holy Ghost, the Almighty Father, I command you to go back to where you came from. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For the Bible says that darkness and light has nothing in common. Therefore, I send you back in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Get man. Yes, Father. Come, um, get the shovel and the digger. Yes, Father. Quickly, quickly, this is where she was buried. We must take out the remains. You hear me? Amen. 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 The Lord is good. All the time. And all the time. Our Lord is good. Uh, immensely, deeply, and greatly. I uh, thank God Almighty for a day like this. What happened to Mr. Bernard and his family should serve as a lesson to us all. But it's time. Mm -hmm. The car that you're buying, a new house. Packing into a new apartment, we must learn to be put into the hands of God Almighty first. Whatever is put into the hands of God Almighty is saved. Amen. Uh, the story of Chief Owen Balto to serve as a lesson to us all. The best time is the best. This God assures us of His providence and protection. when you were ill. You know, my mom fell sick at the same time and so I had to shuttle between work and the village. So, so many things were happening and it was so stressful. 
to one of our other families. Um, you, like I said, everything was so stressful, so, you know, I, I, I lost it. When you lost that, you lost everything. Because whatever we had in the past is over. Ben, 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 you can't do that. You can't do that to me. Ben, you promised, you promised to marry me. You know, you walked out on your own. And you told my friend, while I was on a sick bed, that we should go and sort out our problems. We sorted out our problem, and that was done without you, and it's going to remain that way. Then I didn't mean it that way. Honestly, I didn't. And I mean it now. So, whenever you have me to come to my office, please, use the intercom room and let me know you're coming. Ben! Get out. Thank <laughs> you. 